This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. And it reads, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. Shalom, call loyan wahwa la Yahweh Bahasim, Yahweh Shai Bahasim Rakakwadas. Double honors are going out to the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the elder bishops who rule and teach the congregation of the living well. And I want to say salutations, peace and blessings to the Bias Dawada, which is the house of David, the elect. All right, basically, um, uh, I'm Shalaki, I'm Shamar Moth, and uh, I wanted to get into a quick lesson. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it because the apostles and the uh, elders have been going into it. But one of the hot topics among Israel the last I would say the last week or so. All right, is the uh, is this so-called uh, Trinity doctrine, which you know the Christians are out here saying that Jesus is God, and um, no, they're two separate entities. All right, you have the Heavenly Father whose name is Yahweh, and you have the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father whose name is Yahweh. So they are not the same. All right, you got the first in command, okay, Yahweh, and you got Yahweh Shai who is uh, the firstborn of all creation. So if you're the firstborn of all creation, that means you had a starting point. All right, now Yahweh, he's he's called the Ancient of Days in Daniel's the seventh chapter. Let, let's go ahead and get that real quick. I didn't have it pulled up, but one of the titles for the Heavenly Father, okay, is the Ancient of Days, all right? He has no beginning or end. See, Yahweh Shai has a beginning, all right? The Heavenly Father does not. All right, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he spoke Yahweh Shai into existence in the heavens. All right, um, prior, of course, to, uh, you know, the Messiah coming to the earth as a man. All right. Um, yes, like here it is right here. Get right to the point. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 22. Until the Ancient of Days uh, came. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. It's like, yeah. Here it is. It's like it. I was a few verses ahead of myself. All right, this is Daniel's chapter 7 and verse 13. And it reads, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man. Now, who is the Son of Man? One of the titles for Yahweh Shai, right, who the world ignorantly refers to as Jesus Christ, is the Son of Man. Okay, that's one of his titles. All right, it says, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. All right, what are the clouds of heaven? Those are the chariots, all right? What, what the heathen would call UFOs, or nowadays they're calling them UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, all right? But those are the chariots of the Lord, all right? And not every um, object in the sky is a chariot, okay? Not saying that. But when the, when the scriptures speaks about the clouds, okay, it's talking about uh, the chariots, all right? It says, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days. That right there shows you there's a separation. Okay? You got the Heavenly Father and you got His only begotten Son. This is a basic lesson. This is like Bible 101 right here. But it's needful. All right? Because, you know, most of us was reared up in a Christian home. I would say 99% of the men doing this work out on the highways and hedges was raised in some form of Christianity. And what was uh, uh, pushed all right, uh, what was pushed on us? The Trinity. Well, Jesus is God. No, you got the Heavenly Father and you got the only begotten Son. They're not the same. All right, just like I'll use an earthly example, very basic. I have several sons, but I have uh, uh, my eldest son who has my name. Okay, we're two different beings. He might look like me. He might talk like me. He might even believe some of the th uh, same things I believe in, but we're still two separate beings, okay? Same as the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, all right? It says, we'll start at the top, Daniel chapter 7, verse 13. I saw in the night visions, behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him, okay? I'm going to read verse 14. 
and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom. So the Most High gave his only begotten son. Basically, he gave his only begotten son everything. He gave him an inheritance, just like if I had an estate in an earthly sense, if I had a trust fund and if I had land, all right, I would give that to my son. He would be my heir. He would be heir to my estate. Okay. Same thing. Okay. That was given him. Okay. So the most high gave his only begotten son, what dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion because the kingdom of heaven is going to last forever, which shall not pass away in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Right. Because um, once this kingdom is destroyed, all right, and once Esau is taken out of the power seat, okay, there's not going to be any more rulerships. There's not going to be another kingdom to come up, all right, behind the kingdom of heaven. All right, that's it. All right, so you've got the Ancient of Days, which is the Heavenly Father, and you've got the Son of Man, which is the only begotten Son. I could end the lesson right here, okay? I'm not going to, but I could. Two separate entities. When the Bible talks about God and the Messiah being one is talking about they're in one accord. They agree with each other. The father agrees with the son and the son agrees with the father. Okay. That's, that's why it says they're one. Okay. Cause they're in one accord with one with each other. Now, <clears throat> basically there's a lot of scriptures you can go to. All right. But uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to focus on, what the Heavenly Father gave to His only begotten Son, okay? Like I said earlier, He made Him heir. I guess that's where I'm going to start. I was going to save that for the last, but that's that's okay. That's how the Spirit goes. And this is a stronghold. That's why I opened up this lesson with uh, 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, because this is a stronghold. There's still there's 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 uh, still a lot of Israelites out here, all right? You so-called, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Natives, all right? And Israelite foreigners, speckled birds, who... Are, are caught up in this Trinitarian nonsense, man. And that's all it is. This is what the Roman Catholic Church pushed primarily on our people to keep us asleep. And you got these Christian buffoons out here, these retards, okay, walking around saying that Jesus is God. No, 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 he's not. No, he is not. He's the second in command, all right? He has a heavenly father. He was spoken into existence. He was, he was made, okay? Uh, so if you were made, that means that you can't be, all right, the supreme being in the universe. No. Okay. Not at all. So let me start in Hebrews, the first chapter, because I got ahead of myself. And this is, this is going to be a cold cut on Christianity right here. Okay. This is Hebrews, the first chapter in the first verse. All right. It says, Yahweh. All right. It says God, but we know his name is not God. God is not a proper name. All right. God's a title. Okay, his name's Yahweh. It says, Yahweh, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, okay, whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Okay, so Yahweh made his only begotten son heir of all things. Yahweh Shai is going to inherit everything, all right, not just this planet, okay, but everything out, you know, beyond this planet, which... You know, the scriptures talks about in my father's house are many mansions. OK, we don't know how far this so-called solar system goes out, but everything out there. OK, it's, it's going to belong to Yahweh Shai. And guess what? His elect men are going to be co-heirs with him. OK, so they're going. So Lord willing, that's us. We're a part of that number. We're a part of that lot. We're going to be co-heirs with Yahweh Shai, who's going to inherit all these things. Man, it says whom he hath appointed heir of all things, all right, by whom also he made the worlds, okay? So there's more than one world, okay? Just like uh, uh, when the scriptures talks about uh, in John 3, 16, where it says, uh, for the most high power, Yahweh, so love the world, okay? The world that he's talking about right there is the world of the Israelites, all right? And, and specifically, the believing Israelites, all right, the, the, the elect remnant, all right, who believe, all right, uh, 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 the testimony and who are cleaving to the, uh, the words of the prophets, 
which, you know, we're just mouthpieces, all right? We're ambassadors for the Lord, all right? It's, talk, it's talking about um, the world of Israel in uh, John 3.16, all right? It says, who being the brightness of his glory, okay? See, Yahweh is the brightness of his glory. Two different beings, not the same, okay? It says, and the express image of his person. So Yahweh looks like his father, just like, once again, you know, Men out there, you know, you might have a son who looks exactly like you, okay? Well, Yahweh Shai looks exactly like his heavenly father. It says, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. So what is he? Is he sitting beside himself? No, he, sit, he sat down on the right hand of his heavenly father, okay? Two separate beings, two separate entities they're not the same okay jesus is not god okay he is the only begotten son second in command all right only begotten that means he was made it's getting ready to tell you right here okay i'm getting i'm getting to the point all right because right here in verse four it'll tell you in verse four it reads being made so much better than the angels so yahweh was made okay he was made he was made. He's the firstborn. Again, I'm going to get that scripture, Lord willing, next. In uh, Colossians, the first chapter. He was made. Being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. Um, and again, this is, this is basic common knowledge. All right? But the Lord will have certain topics come out. Okay? For the purpose of Edifying the lambs, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Because this, this lesson isn't for Christians. This lesson is for the believers out there. All right. Because let, let's say you're dealing with a Christian, which I've dealt with plenty of Christians before. I've dealt with plenty of Christians on the highways and byways. I've dealt with Christians on the comment board. Um, I've dealt with Christians in my own immediate family. Okay. You, let's say you're dealing with a Christian who's been a Christian for 20, 30 years. You're not going to change their mind. Okay. They've done made up their minds. They're not going to change. Okay, so this isn't for them. This is for, again, the believers out there. Now, look, let's go to Colossians, all right? All right, and then I'm going to get into, um, you know, the things that the Heavenly Father, well, we just read that, all right, Yahweh Shai is going to inherit all things, okay? Now, while he was on earth, okay, he was given certain things. All right, certain things to do. All right, and in the Gospels, uh, specifically in the Gospel according to John, you know, it talks about him, you know, uh, being given the elect lambs, him being given work to do. Oh, and also, his Heavenly Father gave him a cup to drink, all right, a, a cup of suffering, okay? He, he had to suffer. And um, I was listening to the Elder Apostle Gabar the other day, and he did a beautiful lesson going in on this topic. And he was talking about um, one of the things that he mentioned, Salakia, was when you come into this truth, you better be prepared to suffer, you know. And nobody's going to understand the, the kind of suffering you're going through, all right, be, because, you know, you're going to be rejected. Nobody's going to understand you, all right. Your, your, your family sure as hell ain't going to understand you, all right. So you're going to have a lot of mental suffering you go through and, 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 and also, you know, just just the regular ailments physically that you have to deal with that the Lord gives each and every one of us, you know, those, those things you have to go through. But this, when you come into this truth, okay, be prepared to suffer. Now, none of us suffer like Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh Shai had, again, Yahweh Shai had to be rejected of his own country, countrymen. All right. For the most part. All right. He had to be, you know, he was arrested by his own household. Okay. You know, those wicked, uh, uh, you know, scribes and Pharisees, okay, uh, and, and, and the high priest at the time, you know, who were Judites. They were of his own tribe. They handed him over to the Romans because they was in cahoots with the Romans. Okay, he had to be whipped. Uh, he was whipped with the cat of nine tails. He was beaten, okay, had a, a crown of thorns shoved in his skull. All right, he was mocked. All right, he, um, the Jews, you know, they... They cried for Barabbas, a common criminal, to be released. 
Okay, he had to be nailed to a tree, you know, and hang on that tree, you know, be be mocked and ridiculed. No, none of us, you know, have gone through anything like that. All right, so none of us, you know, have suffered the way he did. But yeah, because when he was on the earth, he suffered, you know, immense. He had he he underwent immense suffering. Okay, but that was a, again that was a beautiful lesson. Um, the Elder Apostle Gabar did uh, his page is Daily Edification Four. Subscribe and be edified. All right, now this is Colossians. All right, in the first chapter in the fifteenth verse. All right, this is speaking about Yahweh. It says, "Who is the image of the invisible power?" Okay, the firstborn of every creature. So Yahweh Shai has a distinct beginning. Okay, he was created. Yahweh spoke him into existence. All right, he is not God. Okay, once again, he agrees with his heavenly father and his heavenly father agrees with him. They're in one accord. All right. Yahweh Shah came with his father's doctrine. Two separate beings. It says, for by him were all things created. That's right. Because the scripture says in Amos, the third chapter, uh, surely the Lord power will do nothing. He don't leave his throne. Well, here's what happened. Yahweh gave the blueprint to Yahweh Shah and the angels and he made and they made everything you see. OK, it says for by him were all things created that are in heaven. And that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. See, all things were created by him and for him. OK, once again, going back to the most basic example. All right. You have an earthly father. If he had an estate or if he had a fortune, OK, he would leave it to who? His son. OK, you would give your son what you had, what you had accumulated, your estate, your fortune. And it says and he is before all things and by him all things consist. Verse 17. And he is the head of the body, the church. Right. He's Yahweh Shai is the good shepherd. OK, he, 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 he tends to the flock. He's the, the chief shepherd. OK, um, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. Then in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him, verse 19, should all fullness dwell. Okay? The Heavenly Father, he has only begotten Son. Not the same. Okay? Not the same. All right. Some of the things that the Lord, well, we just read that, you know, the Lord, how I gave him all things. But let's get a couple of scriptures. All right? Matthew, the 28th chapter. And this is going to go quick. You could you could bring out, I mean, you could do a three-hour lesson on this and still not, you know, even scratch the surface. All right, Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, talking about his disciples who would later become apostles, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So his father gave him all power in what? In heaven and in earth. Okay. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, okay, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. All right. Um, why do why do you have to go out and teach all nations? <laughs> because Israel is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and um, and living among all the nations. Okay. Verse 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. When it says even unto the end of the world, it's talking about the end of the age. Okay, the end of this dispensation of time. All right, because um, like I did a video a couple days ago going into that Greek word for world, there's three words in the Greek for the word world. In this instance, it's talking about eon, which is a, a period of time. Okay. It says, even unto the end of the world. Okay, so Yahweh Shai is going to be with us until this kingdom goes down. All right. Which is, you know, referred to as the end of the world. All right. Not that the world is going to be blown up or the world is going to be, you know. Because <laughs> you got people out here. You got Christians out here thinking the world is going to be blown up. No. 
It's not. The scripture says the earth abideth forever. Um, okay, so what was given to him when he um, before he ascended to be with his heavenly father, before he ascended into heaven, all power was given unto him, all right, in heaven and in earth. All right, let's check this scripture out in Philippians chapter 2. All right, because the Lord gave him a name, man, above all names. This is Philippians chapter 2 and verse 9. And it reads, Wherefore, Yahweh also hath highly exalted him. Okay. Once again, two separate beings. And given him a name, which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai Masiach is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father. See? I mean, this this, this, this this is simple, man. But these clowns out here like Vocab Malone and Dr. James White and David Wood, that cross-dressing murderer, okay, they're out here saying that Jesus is God. No, he's not. He has a heavenly father. He was created. He's the second in command, period. See, that's what, see, the, the, the wine, the, the false prophet, all right, has given you people to drink, man, has you all fucked up and bugged out. Okay, hey, but the Lord, what he did was he set he set up men, okay, to bring out the true understanding of the scriptures. All right, and but two-thirds of you aren't going to hearken. You know, you're going to keep on going on in your, in your, you know, false religions. And, you know, a lot of you Jakes, you know, don't even, you know, all right. Even though, you know, you've forsaken the Christian church because, you, you know, Jake's leaving the Christian church by the droves lately. Even though you've forsaken that madness, okay, you're still out here wandering after the beast, all right? Believing in some kind of false way, some false ideology or philosophy, all right? And, you, and hey, you're fixing, to, you're fixing to have a rude awakening, all right? So anyways, the Lord gave him all power in heaven and earth. He gave him a name above every name. All right, what else? All right, his heavenly father gave him the elect lambs. All right, and this happened, all right, um, at the foundation, before the foundation of the world. He already had given him a remnant, okay, who was going to believe on him. All right, I got a couple scriptures on this. All right, let's go. Let's start in um, John chapter 6, and verse 37. It says, All that the Father giveth me <laughs> shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Right? You come to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, you're not going to be cast out. Okay, it says, For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. See? He's not the Heavenly Father. He came to do the will of the Heavenly Father. So how is he the Heavenly Father if he came to... How is he God if he came to do God's will? See how silly and backwards and retarded this, this thinking is? Okay? It says, verse 39, And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. So, again, the Lord gave him... A remnant, okay, one third, all right, uh, uh, of Israel, okay, Yasharala is gonna believe, okay. You got the prophets first and foremost, all right, the teachers, one hundred forty-four thousand, and then you got men, women, and children, okay, who 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 believe this, all right, like Isaiah said, who, have all right, Slakia, like, yeah. see, this is also, let's see, you can also get this in John ten. Which I got that pulled up here. Give me just a second. Yeah, this is one of my favorite scriptures in John the 10th chapter. All right, and we'll start in verse 27. And this is how I was speaking. It says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. See, all right, if you don't hear what we're saying, it's because you're not one of the lambs of Yahweh. Because his sheep hear his voice. And how do you hear his voice? All right, through the correct preaching and teaching. That's the, when, when people talk about the Lord spoke to me. Now, the Lord is speaking to you through his men. OK, and his men are bringing out the correct understanding of the scriptures. All right. The, the Lord ain't coming down and talking directly in your face. Nah. OK, that's not how it goes. 
All right, verse 28, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Okay, see, so if you're one of the elect, all right, there's nothing that Esau, all right, all right, who is the so-called white man and, and it's his elites, all right, that have, all right, dominion over this earth, all right, because they, they received the fatness of the earth. That was uh, Esau's blessing. So who 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 are the elites? All right, you're talking about the Dukes of Edom. All right, Lord Rothschild, Lord Rockefeller, et cetera, et cetera. All right, the international bankers. All right, it says um. Yes, I mean the only thing they can do is kill your body, right? But they can't destroy your soul, right? That's why how I said to fear. All right, Yahweh. All right, who can kill your body and also cast your ass into the lake of fire? That's who you have to fear. Okay, because all these devils can do is just you know, kill your body. Verse 29, my father, which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to plug them out of my father's hand. All right. So these things, you know, how I was given. All right. Um, uh, you know, for, you know, of course, everything. All right. But um, I just wanted to pull out some of these scriptures. Okay. Which goes into, you know, him receiving authority in heaven and earth him receiving a name above, you know, all names, him receiving the elect lambs. Okay. Um, and he was, uh, let's see what I got next. I think I'm going to go to Ephesians. Oh, here's John 17, but that's just um, going back to John 10. I guess we'll go to Ephesians next. All right, now let me let me go to John five. All right, this is uh, the Gospel according to John. All right, chapter five. Okay, because he was given, you know, work to do. Okay, and that's <laughs> and that's what we're out here doing. We're doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, we're we're actually following in the stead of the prophets. And the ultimate prophet being the Messiah, all right, the, the Redeemer of the nation of Israel. All right, Yahweh Shai. This is um, John chapter 5, verse 36. But I have greater witness than that of John. All right, talking about John the Baptist. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. So if, if, if he is God, did he send himself? Okay, in John chapter 17, when he's praying to his heavenly father, is he praying to himself? Is, is he is he schizophrenic? Nah, he's praying to his heavenly father. All right. The chief high priest. Yahweh Shai, sorry, uh, Alazar, you're not the chief high priest. Okay. Alazar is the, the leader of the Sakari camp. Nah, Yahweh Shai is the chief high priest. And he's praying that priestly prayer in John the 17th chapter. And he's asking his father. He actually... He asks his father, all right, to let that cup pass from him. I mean, who would who didn't want to go and, and deal with the uh, uh, the torture that he dealt with? OK, so he's praying to his heavenly father in the Garden of Gethsemane. All right, not praying to himself. The father sent him. Like I said, this is basic. You know, this is basic understanding. This is like, you know, if you was in a, you know, if you were going to college, you know, you start out. With uh, let's say you're you're going to be a accounting major, you know you start out with accounting 101, right? This is this is a uh, this is Bible 101, okay? Um, so Yahweh I was given work a, a work to do, and guess what? He finished it. He finished it, okay? In his prior incarnations, he went off. He went off as Adam. He went off as Solomon, okay? But when he came uh, as Yahweh Shai, uh, he got it right. All right, he lived a sinlessly perfect life. Okay, and he and he earned the right. Okay, to sit down all right, at his father's right hand. He earned the right to break loose the seals of the scriptures, to bust them seals open. All right, so that we could uh, uh, get the understanding. All right. He earned he earned that uh, 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 name, all right. He earned the right to have everyone fall down at his feet and worship, and worship him, and that's what's going to happen, man. He, I mean, we just read that in the book of Philippians, the second chapter. Okay, every knee is going to bow, 
All right, he earned that. Let's see. Um, don't want to get. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's. It all ended up in Ephesians. All right, because he was also given. All right. Um. You know, he he was also set up to be it's like he's set up to be the head of the church. Okay. Which that word church in the Greek is ecclesia, which means to to call out. All right. Really, when you look up that word church, is is the called out assembly of the Israelites. So to tell you that, even the blue letter will tell you that. All right, Ephesians chapter one and verse twenty one. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Who's given him these things? Yahweh has given these things to his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? He made him head over all things, all right? Which is his body, the fullness of him filleth all in all okay so it's just you know meant to be a quick lesson you know yahweh gave his only begotten son yahweh shy all right these things that I, that I read in the scriptures but you know like i started the lesson off saying all right well we read in hebrews it's not me saying it, it says in the scriptures he gave them all things everything you see belongs to the only begotten son who is not the Heavenly Father. They're not the same. All right. Lord willing, Adawan Ratnazat, you was edified to the Spirit. And with that, I want to say, Shalom.